Hello friends or fans of uh, Central Control. Um, today we are going to be going in depth into uh, control mapping. Um, now you may notice at first that I am not the familiar face that you may recognise. Um, but don't worry, um, Joe is still alive and I think he's uh, doing reasonably well getting into depths of uh, programming the next version for all you lovely friends and fans at home. Um, so let's delve into this uh, demo of uh, control mapping. I have my vMix project set up here with a variety of uh, different clips. One of my favorite musical artists here, a previous tutorial um, by a man who shall not be named. And um, some great wallpapers here, some of my favorites actually. We've got the, the Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10. Um, you may notice that Windows 8 is not there um, because it's simply not one of my favorites. So let's go into central control. We have a, this is a project I was working on earlier. I'm just going to make a new project and um, call it uh, maybe a comedic title just for uh, the entertainment purpose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding modules. So we're going to add, um, we're going to add vMix first and foremost. Just going to scroll down until we see it. There she is. Add that. We're going to change the IP address to uh, localhost as this is being hosted locally. And just enable the device. There we go. And then the second device we're going to add is this uh, X keys control surface, which I have to my left here. I'm just going to scroll down. There she is. And enable that. Okay. Now the next step uh, is to uh, click on the X keys device and then go over to control mapping. It's very important you have this device selected or else, uh, well, you could be editing something you don't want to be. And we all know how that goes. Um, just going to enable jump to control, which is a nice quick way to uh, select the row which I would like to map. So just going to select the program row first. So this red row right here on the X keys and press the first button. Um, and let's get into it. So just going to find the uh, set program, set mix program here, and make sure my input is one, one, and then let's get going. This is the first button. Just going to add that. And then the second one, and we'll go for the third one, and then the fourth one. But as you can tell, this might get just a little repetitive and quite frankly, slow. So, there must be a better way of doing this. What I'm going to do first is delete all of these control mappings. And then let's do it a little bit of a quicker way, uh, which is with this nice nifty tool here, which uh, Joseph has designed specifically for you, called Quick Assign. It's going to turn that on and uh, make sure Set Mix Program is uh, indeed selected. And scroll right down to input number one. And let's start mapping. So I'm just going to press the plus button here and just cycle through all of these keys till the 12th one. There we go. And uh, you can see that each one of these has indeed um, been mapped. And uh, let's just give it a test in vMix. I'm going to close that down. And here's my program row, as you might be able to see. And there we go. And you can also notice that we are getting feedback, which unlike uh, mapping in vMix uh, itself, um, it's just handled in central control automatically. So let's get into mapping the uh, preview layer now. So all of these green keys here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into central control, um, make sure X keys again is selected and uh, press control mapping. Let's use jump to control again and just hit that first key. Um, make sure that's selected and then we're going to just scroll down and using the shift modifier, it's a nifty feature you might have heard from all of the uh, other Wando's programs. Uh, we're going to hold shift and go down to 12. Okay. Let's scroll down to find the set mix preview. Make sure that's selected. Make sure the input number is taken back to one. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click and assign commands. And with a bit of programming magic, you can see that all of these um, buttons are sequentially uh, numbered by inputs as we go up to 12. So let's give that a little, uh, little try in vMix. 
let's, let's cycle through all of uh, the different previews. And I think just as we come to Windows 10, that about concludes um, uh, this tutorial. So I want to say thank you, everyone, for watching this. Hopefully it comes uh, uh, comes in handy uh, for the get out of jail free card you might need when mapping a, a control surface. Um, be sure to check out the 30-day free trial in the uh, description below. And um, shout out to all the friends and fans. Thanks for watching.